cleaning products you should never mix. Stay safe. Hey there, science fans. Let's talk about keeping our homes sparkling clean, safely. Did you know that every year, thousands of people end up in the emergency room because of accidents involving common household cleaning products? That's right. The stuff we use to make our countertops shine can actually be quite dangerous if we're not careful. One of the biggest no-nos in the cleaning game is mixing different products together. It might seem like combining cleaners will make them even stronger, but in reality, you could be brewing a recipe for disaster and some seriously noxious fumes. That's why it's crucial to always, always read the labels on your cleaning products. Before we start, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to The Big Sweep, and ring that bell so you never miss a new episode. All right, science sleuths, let's dive into a dangerous duo bleach and ammonia. Now you might find these two hanging out in your cleaning cabinet, but trust me, they should never ever mingle. Bleach is a powerhouse at killing germs and brightening whites, while ammonia is a whiz at cutting through grease and grime. But when these two cleaning agents collide, it's not a pretty picture. They react to produce a toxic gas called chloramine. Now, chloramine isn't something you wanna mess around with. This nasty gas can irritate your eyes, nose, and throat, leaving you coughing and gasping for air. In high concentrations, it can even cause serious respiratory problems and even be deadly. It's no joke, folks. Think of it like this. Bleach and ammonia are like two ingredients that should never meet in a science experiment gone wrong. Separately, they can be useful, but combined, they create a volatile reaction. So remember, keep those bottles far, far apart. And here's another pro tip. Never mix bleach with anything other than plain water. That's right, even other cleaning products can react with bleach in unpredictable and potentially dangerous ways. Safety first, everyone. When it comes to cleaning products, it's always better to err on the side of caution. Remember, a clean house is great, but not at the expense of your health. So next time you're tackling those chores, channel your inner scientist and remember the golden rule, never ever mix bleach and ammonia. Your lungs will thank you. Let's move on to another cleaning combo that spells trouble, vinegar and bleach. I know, I know, vinegar seems harmless enough. It's a natural cleaner, right? We even use it in salad dressings, but don't let its mild-mannered reputation fool you. Mixing vinegar and bleach is like trying to mix oil and water. They just don't play well together. Vinegar is acidic, while bleach is basic, or alkaline. When these two clash, they create a chemical reaction that releases chlorine gas. Now, chlorine gas is no joke. It's the same stuff that was used in gas warfare during World War I, and for good reason. It's incredibly dangerous. Even in small amounts, chlorine gas can irritate your eyes, nose, and throat, and it can even cause chest pain and breathing difficulties. And just like with chloramine, high concentrations of chlorine gas can be deadly. So, what's the takeaway here? Never, ever mix vinegar and bleach. It's as simple as that. Keep them stored separately and use them at different times when cleaning. Remember, a little bit of separation goes a long way when it comes to these two cleaning agents. And hey, while we're on the subject of bleach, let me reiterate, never mix it with anything other than plain water. Bleach is a powerful chemical and it's best to keep it that way, powerful and separate from other cleaners. Baking soda and vinegar is a fizz asco in the making. Okay, now for a slightly less dangerous but still important combination to avoid, baking soda and vinegar. You've probably seen this duo in action before, maybe in a homemade volcano science project or even as a cleaning solution. Now, while mixing these two won't produce any deadly gases, it's not exactly a recipe for cleaning success either. You see, baking soda is basic while vinegar is acidic. When they mix, they neutralize each other in a classic acid-base reaction. This reaction creates a lot of fizzing and bubbling, which might seem like it's doing something. But in reality, it's mostly just creating a big mess. The fizzing action does have some uses like unclogging drains or freshening up a garbage disposal. But when it comes to cleaning and disinfecting surfaces, mixing baking soda and vinegar is kind of like using up all your firepower in one go. You're left with a less effective cleaning solution and a whole lot of bubbles to clean up. So what's the bottom line? While mixing baking soda and vinegar won't create a toxic cloud, it's not the most effective way to clean. It's best to use them separately or stick to cleaning products specifically designed to tackle your toughest messes. Remember, sometimes simple is best, and that goes for cleaning too. So there you have it, science fans. We've explored some of the most important cleaning product combinations to avoid. Remember, mixing bleach and ammonia creates toxic chloramine gas, while mixing bleach and vinegar releases dangerous chlorine gas. 
and while mixing baking soda and vinegar won't create a hazardous situation, it's not the most effective cleaning method. The key takeaway here is to always prioritize safety when using cleaning products. Read those labels carefully, folks, and never assume that mixing products will make them stronger or more effective. In fact, it's often the opposite. Now go forth and clean with confidence, my friends, and don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. Let's spread the word about cleaning product safety and keep everyone safe and sound while they keep their homes sparkling clean. Thanks for watching today, and we'll see you in the next video.